Hiya, morning, welcome to another workout, yeah. Guess what? Rained off again, yeah. Again. Sick of getting rained off, but do you know what? When you're rained off, it means you've got time to go to the gym. Yeah, or go train at home, whichever you want to do, yeah. So, I might not be earning any money, but I'm earning some muscles, yeah. <laughs> so let's go, yeah. I'm going to start off with the shoulders, and I'm going to use the Pro Iron bands. I've got 30 pounds on the band, and I'm going to start off with the famous exercise known as the Arnold Press. It's quite difficult on these, to be fair. You've got to get used to it, so rotate and up, yeah. One. It's only 30 pounds. Just warming up at the moment. That little twist gets the full rotators. It's nice. Apparently this uh, exercise was invented by Arnold Schwarzenegger to get more out of his deltoids. But it really is a different ball game. It's fantastic. Some people drop really low when they do this. Some people stay high. It's entirely up to you. I try and stay chin level. Getting warmed up now. Oh, nice and warmed up, yeah. We're gonna add some weight onto that now, yeah. Quite difficult on them, to be fair. It's not the same as dumbbells, but Put it under door. Make sure your door's locked. <laughs> like that. I didn't. But yeah, put it under door. Get a reasonable amount of weight, not too much because it's just a warm up and then build up from there. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up in weight next. Right, so I've got 40 pounds on now. Yep. So assume the position. Oh I can feel that already. Right. Twist. And at one. Stand it far back. You have to squeeze your glutes when using these because it pulls you back. Right, when you're using bands, people, if you just stand normal, it pulls you back, back like that. And it's not good for you, so you have to squeeze your glutes and engage your abs so it doesn't pull you back, back. Yeah, just a quick tip for you there, yeah, so don't allow it to pull you back. Engage your glutes, engage your abs, yeah, and make sure you keep your posture. Otherwise, it's not good for you. So, let's go. way through that I found different ways to keep the tension on you have to play with it yeah it's all by ear on these things yeah if it's not working change your range yeah find it make it work for you I'm gonna uh, that was quite difficult actually I'm gonna have a breather don't forget I'm coming off a cold still haven't got over that chest cold <coughs> that's why I'm struggling breathing yeah but I'll get there right I've got 65 pound on bands now yeah one thing I will say about these resistance bands once you get once you get into them yeah People do reviews on them and um, they always say the same thing. They always say that they're finicky and, and they're a bit hard to, uh, you know, adjust and put your bands on and everything. But what I find is, if you take that time that it takes to put a new band on as your rest time, it's perfect. That's just another tip, yeah? Take it as your rest time. So don't set your band up and then have a rest, yeah? Take the setting up as your rest. So now there's a uh, £65 on here now, yeah? And it's completely different to £65 of a dumbbell. Because it's always fighting you. Five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see if I've got two more. Ah. Right, just a quick one for you, yeah. Those uh, Orkies amongst you will notice that a younger man's turned up, yeah. Check out the barnet. I've had it cut, yeah. I got sick of it, absolutely sick of it, yeah. And uh, I got I cut it over there. Right, so I've got seventy pound on now. So that's equivalent roughly to 31, 32 kilos, yeah. Probably closer to thirty-two kilos. So you imagine I've got thirty-two kilo dumbbell and I'm doing that, yeah. So this is seventy pounds now, and I can feel it, yeah. So step back, tense the glutes. Oh. Ooh. Just, uh, just starts to rub on your arms as it gets heavier. Eight. Right, so we've got 80 pound on now, which is about 36 kilos. But like I say on these, it feels different because it's always pulling you back. So the 30 kilogram bar, I would say feels a little bit lighter, simply because this is fighting you all the time. There's different ways to do this. I think it's probably better under your feet, which I'm going to change for the next set just to see. Because this is rubbing. Eight. Yeah, it's rubbing my arms too much. It's rubbing them there, yeah. It's uh, putting me off. I'm going to change tactic. Right, so I've changed tactics. I've got it to the front on a foot. I've only got 50 pounds on, yeah, and it's a lot more difficult. So I'm going front, front like there, yeah. So let's have a look at this. So front, up. And it's going under my arms now, yeah. So it just travels easier. Very difficult, yeah. It's hard to stay stable because my feet are closer together than I'd like. If I were doing it on a bar, they're quite wide, but because I'm doing it on there, they're quite narrow. Difficult one to, to get right on there, but you know, it's trying to, when you're training at home, you're training with new equipment, I will get it in the end and I'll get a, a nice one to do. I've moved camera down so you can see I've got ankle straps on and I've got them to the bottom of my feet and I've put them 
I've looked it under both, yeah, so it allows me to get a wider stance. Now, when I reviewed these, I did that anyway, I've just forgot, and it worked out better, so off we go, yeah. So it just gives you that freedom, a bit more freedom. To stand, that's better. That's better. That were a lot better. Yeah, hit the delts better. Felt better. Felt better on my back, felt better on my posture, everything, yeah. So for me, that's the way forward on that. Right, so if we go last set of these, yeah. Get everything set first. Nice stance. Burning now. Nine. Ten. Ten of them, yeah. Notice how I bend my legs when I uh, press up, I don't just do this. Just years of working with lifting heavy objects. Yeah, it's just drilled into me to bend my legs. Right, that's enough for them. I'm going to come on and do, uh, probably do the old. Uh, that one, you'll see. So you guessed it, Isoflow, yeah. I wonder if you guessed it from the little uh, description earlier. <laughs> Isoflow, right. So, this is only my belief, people. And I might be wrong. Maybe people out there can tell me that I'm wrong, yeah. But I believe when you use equipment like this, when it's you against you, I do believe, even though I don't always do it myself, that you should be warmed up first. Because the amount of strength that you can develop on these can injure you, believe it or not. So it is best to be warmed up. But if you're not warmed up, then don't go mad. Yeah, start light. But I, I recommend, even though I don't always do it myself, warm up first before you do you against you workouts, yeah. Because it's amazing what you can produce. So now we're going to do a variation of uh, lateral raises. But isoflow style, yeah. So set it up. Takes a bit of setting up. First arm there. And work against yourself. One, two, three, four, five. Now build up the intensity. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, it's harder than it looks. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, ah. and you soon run out of steam, yeah? The harder you go, the worse it is, yeah? Right, next set of these, yeah? Now, another thing, before I go on to the next set, why people think all these workouts, these kind of machines are finicky, is because in the manual, if you just did the manual, you change it from one exercise to another, yeah? But when you've got, like, a group of equipment, like I've got these bands, bars, whatever, you find exercises that go together, and uh, what I mean is, I'm doing these at the moment. I'm doing these at the moment, yeah. Um, and I want to save my time and not finicky about, so I'm going on to them next, yeah. So that's what I do. I kind of string things together that, you know, with that equipment, I'm trying to piece a couple of exercises that will go together quick. And then with this, I'll, I'll string together a couple of exercises that go together quick. So that one goes with that one without too much effort, yeah. And that's how I use my equipment. So it just uh, it just uh, saves on your downtime. So you're not messing about and you feel like you're keeping your pump. Right, so start off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, ah, uh, ooh, ah, whoa, this side's stronger, I 
I felt the burn more, yeah. This one's a bit weak. So this last set, I'm gonna go hard, yeah. exercise so to save time stick with something very similar so there's not a lot of downtime yeah start there painful now yeah starting to work right next set of these I'm gonna confess I've been a while because I'm baking bread I bake bread as well and uh, it's just done its first rise so I've gone to uh, check it over so I've got a bit cold now bread Matthews Cotswold flour yeah so if you're in the UK order online Matthews Cotswold flour yeah it's the best it's an artisan flour mill so you're getting what you pay for yeah it's not cheap it's not like we get in shops but the bread is the best you'll never eat shop bread again yeah anyway it's not a bread advert it's a training video take a breather adjustment of this because I'm going to go on to another one in a minute right this is kind of a variation of uh, bent lap raises quite difficult on here so I've adjusted the bottom strap right down to the floor so I've got room to do that but in a bent position so I'm bent over kind of like that even though you can't tell from front yeah so right over yeah knee slightly bent Start there. I've got a lot of room here. Start there. Pull. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Ah. Ah. Oh. Right. That is hard. It's hard to get right as well. You've got to keep your arms really back and pull back. If you just do it, there, you don't get the rear delts. So you've really got to feel what you're doing and, and adjust throughout the movement, yeah. So you kind of pull up and back and then the rear delts kick in, yeah. Once you get it, it's a sweet spot, yeah. But if you're just doing this, you're not doing anything, yeah. You've got to feel it, you've got to work it out in your mind what you're doing. Right, just while I'm having a rest, I've not had a breather really, I've just literally flicked it off, realised I want to say something, flicked it back on. Anybody that watches my channel, yeah, will soon realise that I change my mind like the wind. I say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to work out with that, I'm going to do this, yeah. This is why I could never be a keep fit guru, and this is why I don't, this is why I don't claim to be a keep fit guru, yeah. This channel is just about me training a different way than I've ever trained in my life, yeah. I am just me. I just train. And uh, you'll notice that I'll say, I'm going to do my full workout with this, or I'm going to do a full workout with that, or I'm going to use this, and I change my mind all the time, right? That's just me. I always have done. That's why when I used to weight train, I used to write everything down. 
so I couldn't change my mind to use the right programs out and stuff like that, which is really what I should do with this lock stuff. But I'm just getting used to it. I don't know hardly out about it. I'm just finding my way around it, right? Anyway, I've waffled on. Next set. Right. These, this is a difficult one to do, so to set yourself. So bend your legs. Make sure you have the back so you're doing your rear delts. Yeah, I'll start there this time. Shoulders are done now, moving on the chest. And I've got the old Tiddy's power spring. I'm going to warm up. Getting a bit um, easy now, that to be fair. I need to move on. I think that's about 20, 30 kilos. Anybody see that video where I did 80 kilo one and then I couldn't do 100? Yeah, well, I'm going to build up to that. Even though in another video I said I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm always changing my mind. Now I'm going to do a similar exercise, but that way now. Try to keep tension on. Harder this because you've got to control it, it does inners. Right. So off we go, some ice makes it go work as you hold it in and squeeze. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And slowly release, yeah. And then we're going to go for a weaker position down there and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'm going to lift it up to there. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'm going to lift it up to the top, about there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all the way to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. And then I'm going to go back to this and try and hit that mark. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Right, so quick breather, lad. I'm going to do this. The reason I'm doing this as part of my chest is because it does biceps, forearms. And it also does inner chest when you do that push, yeah. <clears throat> so 
So, big push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Big push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Believe it or not, that's it. That's all I've got in, in me today. I've got a nice quick pump on chest. Right, so there you have it. The workout complete, yeah. Nice little uh, pumpy pumpy on the old shoulders and uh, nice little pumpy pumpy on the chest, yeah. And that's what it's all about, yeah. And you know me, people. I don't like to train for hours and hours and hours, yeah. How long? 30 minutes, maybe. Yeah, and then I'm done. Yeah, because I'm old. <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> Too busy to be putting hours and hours in gym, yeah. But like I say, you get what you you get what you put into it, people. Yeah, if you've got hours and hours to train, train for hours and hours, yeah. As long as you don't burn yourself out. Um, but the secret to training and keeping a good physique is uh, good nutrition, loads of rest, yeah, meditation, all that kind of stuff, yeah. Relaxing, chilling, and uh, working hard, like I do. <laughs> Keep training. <laughs>